Hi Year 4, um, hope you're all keeping well and safe and still managing to keep yourselves busy. Can't believe how quickly these weeks are going by. Another great week of home learning, so well done. I love seeing all your work, it gets me through each day. Um, well done to Ethan this week for being our star of the week. Very well deserved, you superstar. So I've been trying to keep myself occupied and been trying to find some different things that I can make at home, but you don't really have much stuff to be making things. So I've looked around and found some things that I'm going to try and thought, actually, why not get you to do the same? So one of your home learning tasks this week is to try and make something from recycled materials. So all working towards our um, topic of the environment. So I've got a few things I'm going to try and show you. Don't know how well this will go as I've not done something like this before. Things that perhaps you could try out at home or you could find your own things to have a go at. And then make sure you post pictures on the blog because I'd love to see them. First one I thought is a um, kind of organiser thing. You might want to keep your stationery in it or you could use it for your art things, up to you. But what I'm going to use is a cereal box and I'm going to cut my cereal box in half. So I've almost got a um, stand for where everything's going to go in. So I've started, but I'll carry on. I'm going to cut it all the way around. So trying to keep it as straight as I can so that it doesn't have a wonky top. That's not so easy. Always oh, neat now. Okay. Okay. So I've now got half my cereal box, and I'm just going to need to seal the end here, which I'm going to do some seal tape. Come to say hello. <laughs> so I'm going to put quite a bit on there just to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, so you should have a complete box. Cereal box or any kind of box, just place whatever you've got at home. So obviously I don't want it to stay looking like this. I could paint it but I don't have any paints. So I've decided that I'm going to use some off cuts of some wrapping paper because I always keep the spare little bits that I never then use again. So I thought I could reuse those. So I have got some amazing pink uniform paper that was left over for my niece's birthday the other week. So I'm going to wrap my box up in this so it looks a little bit prettier. Okay, so I've got a big piece, but I'm going to try and measure it. Obviously, the unicorns aren't going to be the right way up on the whole of the box, but you can have a front and back, or you could spend your time cutting it about so you could make it fit. So I'm going to make sure I've got enough so that it can then be tucked in and double wave a little bit smaller. Better to have too much and then get rid of some excess rather than not quite having enough. This is Luna. She's very nosy. Hello, girl. Okay, so now, just like wrapping a present, I'm going to wrap up my empty box. Let's at least have some in the right way up. I'm going to cut into the corners so that I can easily fold it around them and that way that piece can stick it into the corner hopefully take a little bit off there stick it in stick it down it doesn't really matter what the inside of your box looks like because you're not actually going to be able to see that when this is to go inside there one second. I mean, you may want to look up. Um, I haven't got the magazines to do it to show you, but last year in year four, we made a coaster out of magazines. You weave the paper in and out. Um, and made coasters from recycled magazines, and that's a really good one to look up as well. But I haven't got any magazines to chop up. 
Okay, so I've now just got to sort out the ends that they're covered, so I may find I've got a bit too much. I may want to get rid of some. I don't want to be able to see any of the cereal anymore. Okay. Never been the best at wrapping up presents. Colour tape inside to pull me down. I'm going to try and make this as much as I can. Okay, on one end, and then I'm going to do exactly the same the other end. I think I've probably got a little bit too much. Trying to get it so you can see as little of the folds as possible. Done. Never done this before, so it's kind of just a bit of trial and error. So now I have got my box nicely decorated, better than it before. And then all I'm going to put inside is I've got some empty toilet rolls and a kitchen roll. So they will then just sit inside my box. Now you could stick them down perhaps with some PVA glue so they don't move. Again, not something I have here. And obviously my kitchen roll I need to cut smaller, so I'm just going to measure them so they're all the same size. And that should make two more. So it's not the easiest. Okay, so now I've got my four cubes and I'm just going to stick them into my box. I could probably actually get another one in there. Wait until I've got another empty toilet or kitchen roll. So they then sit in there. And you can stick them down if you want. If you wanted to decorate them, you could. You can't see them loads, but you could decorate them as well. And then you have got a nice little pot that you could then put all your pens into. All up. And then we have it a little pen, pencil organizer that fits nicely on your desk, on a table somewhere. So if you manage to make one, let me see, I'd love to see what they look like. I definitely think you'd need to stick them down, just because mine are moving about, but I have also got a space. So that's one of the things I managed to make. You could also do the same with a jar. You could paint it, you could um, use wrapping paper or something around the edge, and then obviously just keep it open and have your pens and pencils in there as well. Um, another thing I found, which I just thought was quite cute, was you can make little animals. So of course, Miss Edwards has made a giraffe. So this was just a cardboard box that I had from a uh, delivery, so reusing, and all I did was I cut out two squares that are the same size, and then I put them together to cut the legs out, and you literally make, you can see here, pull them apart a second, little archways, um, and by doing it together you can make sure they're exactly the same size so that it stands up the right way. Um, so I drew them, obviously try and get playing card on here and cut them out. And then do the same with the body for whichever animal. I've got pictures of some different ones you could do, so I will post that on our blog. But I've drawn around the body of the draft there. Then cut that out. And then obviously decorate it. You could paint it, use pens, anything. And then you just cut two slits, you can see in here, that the legs then go into. Now you could make it double sided because where I've done mine obviously the back has got part of the parcel box or you can make sure the card is plain because I probably could have done that from some of that here. But you can make some little animals so you can sit on my bedside table. And then the last thing I'm going to make, this is something I've seen somebody's made and I'd really like one to go in my hallway. Um, I wonder if I could show you a picture of what I'm trying to do. Because I don't know if mine will look the same. So my hope is to make a 
hanging picture that looks a little bit like this. I thought that would look really lovely in the hallway. And again, it is using recycled materials because on my walk the other day, I managed to find a uh, branch that was on the floor. So I walked it back and I have very carefully cut out two pieces that are roughly the same size. Obviously, this included using a saw, so we're going to need an adult to help with this bit. But I've measured the right kind of size I need for where I'd like it to go in my house. And then I have to think about the distance I'd like. So I have ordered some lovely flower things to hang on here, but they haven't yet arrived. So when I do eventually get it fully made together, I will post a picture for you to see. But what I'm now going to do is um, get some bits of string to go between them. So I can then clip photos onto it. So obviously you need your string to be the same size. So I have had a little measure up again of where I'd like this to go. Um, but obviously I've made the string a little bit longer so I can tie it on the ends. And I am literally going to tie the string around. Double knot it so it's nice and tight. So I tie it here and then thinking about how long I want this to sit. Probably about this length. I'm going to do the same on the other end. So nice and tight. So, you see, I've now got my first string. Again, I have ordered some um, brown string that I'm going to use for this. This is a trial for me. Um, but I've got some brown string on the way. I obviously then just need to keep doing that for however many of these I'd like along here. So I think I'm going to just try another one. And here, make it nice and tight. And the good thing is you can move them up and down if I find that they're too close when I put the pictures on them. I'm just going to make sure that that's the same length. So I'm going to pull it nice and tight. A little bit more than I need, so I've got a chance to cut it around, um, tie it around. Sorry, I'm one of those that sees these lovely ideas all the time, but I'm never brave enough to try and make them. So I'll start off with quite a simple one. So now we can see I've got two in there. I'm going to do two more. Actually, already I can see I think those two are a little bit too close, but that's fine because I should be able to move them along. Something that I don't need, put it nice and tight so I make sure that they are the same length. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're not completely perfect because that's part of it being sort of a natural looking thing that isn't going to hang perfectly straight. I'm sure mine would tell me that it needs to be great. Okay, you can see this is already starting to go a little bit this way, or I've gone a little bit too short on that one. So I could adjust it, but I'm going to leave it for now. And then I'm going to put one more on this end. Again, you could paint the wood, you could add some colour to it. Completely up to you. But I'm looking forward to having this hanging up in my house. You might like one for pictures of your friends on in your bedrooms as we are currently missing everybody at the moment. Slightly lower in the hope that that evens out. Ooh. So I haven't made this, as you see, that one's going to need tightening a little, bit, a little bit loose. But this is then going to hang, and then I have got some little pegs. And what I can then do is take pictures of my family, as they are who I'm particularly missing at the moment. And I can just clip them. Put them on, and then I'll show you another picture from a holiday. And to here. Onto the string and onto the photo. Obviously, those photos will sit facing the right way when it is up against the wall. And so there we have it, my little photo holder. What I might do actually is have some. I've got some slightly smaller photos that I might hang. All I could do is make my string longer 
so I could then put a couple photos on it. But then I would tie some string either end so that it can then hang on the wall. So they are just a few ideas of things, but I hope that you're going to be really inventive and show me some different things that you can make using as many recycled materials as you can. Keep up the great work because you are being absolute superstars and hopefully see you soon. Bye.